the Christian community is being naive about the power of these, and we are losing our children. There's stories all the time about the shocking things that parents discover because they've been way too passive. If you're a parent of a teen, you need to understand this thing. When Steve Jobs, the uh, once founder and director of Apple, decided to give us a screen instead of a keyboard, the entire culture of the world changed. You need to understand that. And you need to understand now, it is harder than ever before to control the influences in your teenager's life. Because available, if they have one of these in their pocket, is the entire world. The world in all of its beauty, and the world in all of its deep, destructive darkness, it's all available. You cannot be too concerned about this. And you must be active. Practically, I think that we are all too ready because I believe of cultural pressure on us as parents and on our teens to put these devices in our hands of our young, in the hands of our young people. Um, parents, I don't care if these mobile devices make your life easier and easier for you to track your kids. You need to know that so many of the negative uh, resources that influence children's lives come through social media. It's powerful, it's attractive, and uh, there's way more foolishness than there is wisdom. Now, I think these devices can be a powerful tool for good. But you need to be careful. And so you need to be in control of that aspect of your child's world. That's called parenting. And parents, you can't, you can't live uh, hoping that your child is always going to like you, always going to like the choices uh, that you make. You have to be willing to make choices that your child won't like and may not uh, think is a picture of your love for them in order to protect them and their, their hearts. Um, there are mobile devices that are available that are just, just phones. If, if you just need to have contact with your children that way, then use those devices. But you need to be in control of this. You need to know what is happening. Now, I don't think that you ought to be snooping behind your child's back and you ought to parent deceptively because that leads to a lack of trust and a breakdown of relationship, an unwillingness for the child to listen to you that sets up an adversarial relationship that's not healthy. Put the issue on the table. Be honest about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Be forthright about the controls that out of love and godly wisdom you need to put in your child's life. Listen, the Christian community is being naive about the power of these, and we are losing our children. There's stories all the time about the shocking things that parents discover because they've been way too passive, and they've succumbed to the cultural pressure when it comes to mobile devices and social media. Like any other thing in life, your job is to protect your children from danger. If you would protect your children from physical danger, how much more would you want to protect them from moral danger? Now, the world of a teenager widens, his interest widens, his, his uh, 
desires for connectivity widen. And so you're going to feel this pressure. But you must ask the question, what is it that my child actually needs? How is it that God calls me to protect them? And what do we need to do in order to do that? And know that there's blessing in making those choices, even if at the moment they're very hard.